we are looking at a 10 mark question from crime paper three from the 2020 paper to help you know exactly what you need to do to get those top marks so a quick reminder of what the 10 mark question is it appears on all three papers paper one in the education section paper two each topic has two 10 markers with an item and one without and paper three the crime section and with the 10 marker applying from the item you are spending 15 minutes about seven and a half minutes per paragraph two clear balance paragraphs make sure you read the item carefully they will give you the hooks you have got to make sure you refer to them they are placed by the examiner for you to develop and add your knowledge to and make sure you are looking at the question hooks because that will give you further opportunity to show application now this is easier said than done because you'll find that when you start answering and practicing exam questions you'll notice that some of the items will be quite short there might be only two clear hooks that they want you to find and using anything that isn't an item hook may not be credited so here is the item and question from 2020 it's asking you to read the item a below and answer the question that follows applying material from item a analyze two ways that globalization may influence crime in the uk now as you can see they've said the word item a three times so that's a lot of clues to remind you to make sure that you quote the item so what are you looking for in the item? Well, the question is asking you for two ways and that's what you're looking for. So you are looking for the first way in which globalization might influence crime would be the development of new technologies with the second hook, which is an increase in trade across national borders. And finally, you really need to read the question carefully as it is asking how these two processes have influenced crime in the UK. And this is where many students lost marks because they did not show how it impacted the crime rate in the UK. So checking out the mark scheme to enter the top band, you must have good knowledge of two ways of how globalization has influenced crime in the uk you need to have two developed applications from the item given appropriate examples and clear analysis and or evaluation of the both ways and if you do not use the item at all even with really good knowledge if it has not been developed from the hook in the item you are not going to get above three marks so let's see how this student hits all the marks. So they start clearly with developing the hook. Um, the first way is due to an increase in trade across national borders and they clearly signpost it and they develop the knowledge of what globalised trade across national borders actually is and that is due to international trade with multinational companies and they are doing both legitimate and there's also an increase of illegitimate means. And then the student links into Hobbs and Dunningham's piece of research. So they're going to get some AO1 and they talk about this emergence of a global crime and how this drugs trade has got global connections, but it is locally based and they compare. And this is where they get a little bit of analysis by looking at where the drugs are produced, which is in Colombia, the zones of productions and how they are consumed in the zones of consumption, which is the UK. And then they use the wording from the question. This causes an increase in crime in the UK and in this case, drug crime. And these tend to be in more working class areas who may turn to drugs as there are easier access to international contacts. They explain how this happens, that there are working class people who are forming these loop, uh, loose knit networks of connections, looking for opportunities to sell their drugs with global context, which then influences the supply that is available. And this is where you might even link into Winlow and his study of the bouncers, of how they're using their opportunities and their bodies capital in order to commit crimes but there is that connection back to the global network and finally at the end there is a little bit of evaluation 
the extent of this is really hard to measure because a lot of the trade is actually outside the UK, may not be collected in official crime statistics. Now, it is also important to note there is a logical um, chain of explanation here as well. This student compares the zones of production in Colombia with the zones of consumption in the UK and compares the local links and the global connections. So just by doing that, making those connections um, shows that they've got some analysis marks also. Reviewing of where we're up to so far, your paragraph should include a clear item hook or quote, a01 knowledge about that hook, the knowledge, the studies, the theories, application of the item, link back to the question, do you use the word in the question to show that you are answering it, and analysis or evaluation. Now, there is no hard and fast rules about how you structure the paragraph and where your item hook should appear, whether it's at the beginning, the middle or the end, as long as you've got it in there and you have shown how your answer has developed from it, then you will get the marks. It is always a good opportunity to check out the examiner report. These are published after every exam paper and it gives you a little bit of an indication about how students typically answer those questions with some hints and tips that you can steal when you are doing your revision. So this question was well attempted on the whole. A lot of students could develop the two hooks in the item and they had a wide range of knowledge that were linking global crime to sociological research. However, and this is the important bit that you need to note, is that not always um, students were making explicitly clear how this would influence crime in the UK. And because it specifically asked for that in the question, if you didn't address that, you would then be losing your marks. Now you know exactly what you've got to do. What would you write for the second hook? development of new technologies. Here are some ideas that you can steal. So make sure that you are explaining them. Social media and websites, online digital banking. Give some examples of how crime is starting to occur. So ideological messages may link to terrorism in the UK. And likewise, offshore accounts and tax havens would link to gangs and money laundering also in the UK. And don't forget that you also need to add some AO3. Both of these are really hard to police in the UK and due to the complexity and the lack of expertise of the police or lack of resources, it may be um, really difficult to track illegal money. You could talk about the invisibility of it. You can talk about the impact on crime statistics um, and so on to get your AO3 marks as well. So thank you for watching. This video tutorial has shown you how you can apply material from the item to answer that 10 mark. If you have enjoyed this tutorial, or more importantly, you feel like you've benefited from it, please comment your appreciation. Click that like button. If you've got any questions, pop them in the comments below as well. There are other videos that I've produced, such as um, topics from family, education, beliefs, as well as crime 10 markers also. Please check out those videos and have a fantastic day.